dish, uh, add boiling water and then let the soy mints swell. Drain off any excess water and then put it in your food processor. Okay, so I'm doing roughly about 500 grams worth. Then we're going to add some uh, gluten-free bread. Just put them into bits. They don't need to be um, tiny, tiny weeny because they're just going to go into the food processor and then we're going to food process it. One clove of garlic or two small ones and then one, two medium onions or one big onion. Okay, then we're going to put the lid on and then we're going to whiz it for a little bit, try to get all the bits together. Where's my lid? Okay. Okay, burger buns are ready so I'm going to take them out. Size. 
today as I've made my burger buns. I'm actually going to make like a proper burger. Not that I like proper burgers, but it's for the kids. Okay, so we're going to make them like that, then we're going to fry them, and we're going to put them in the burgers when they're done. Try not to get them thin like I do. Flicking it everywhere. Where's my dog when I need her? Come and lick up all the mess that I'm making. So I'm going to make four burgers today. Okay, so everything is ready, so we're going to put everything together and then we're going to have our lunch. This is our lunch for today. We're going to be having burger buns, I've put a little bit of salad in it, and I shall get out the chips and the veggie burgers. Now, I decided to cook them in two different ways. I did the veggie burgers, I fried them in um, extra virgin olive oil, and I also put them in extra virgin olive oil in the oven. So we'll see the difference which ones are the best. Personally, I think the ones in the frying pan were a little bit crumbly and they fell apart a bit. The ones in the oven have stayed together completely. So let's have a look. Okay, those are the ones from the oven and they have not fallen apart. These are the ones that I did in the frying pan. And they've just become a little bit crumbly. Not too bad. Get the chips out. Take one of the burgers, put it in the bun. Okay. Then scoop up some little chips. And voila. Burgers and chips.